What's up, man? It's your boy Rebuke All Devils coming back to you. We got another breaking news story, man, courtesy of CBS LA and CBS uh, Los Angeles, man. Two LA sheriff deputies, 31 and 24 years old, ambushed and shot in Compton. Let's get the details. It's on right now for the shooter that the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says ambushed two of its deputies. All of this happening just down the street from us. This is East Palmer. The shooting happened down that way. It is only just a few blocks from the Compton Sheriff's Station. And um, right now, let's go ahead and show you a piece of video that is at the center of this investigation tonight. These images were captured from the MTA station in Compton just after 7 tonight. You can see a man wearing dark clothing and what appears to be a ball cap walk up to the passenger side of a parked black and white unit from the sheriff's station investigators say that the man opened fire multiple times striking the two deputies then the passenger door opens and the shooter can be seen running away now one of the victims is female 31 years old with a six-year-old son the second deputy a 24 year old male both graduated from the academy only 14 months ago both work for the Transit Bureau, which provides security to MTA riders. Now, these are the men and women who help hardworking people in our community to get to work, to school safely on our rail system. The sheriff says that this shooting was unprovoked. One of them was able to talk briefly to investigators, but only able to give a vague description of the shooter. Both underwent surgery and currently in critical condition at the hospital. Right now, the search continues for that shooter. Reporting live from Compton, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News. All right, Jeff, thank you so much for that update. Uh, we do want to go back now uh, to our reporter, Hermela Aragawi, who is live at the scene of the hospital. Uh, Hermela, what are we hearing out there? Yeah, Sarah, there's a lot going on all of the sudden. There are uh, deputy uh, vehicles that we are hearing. There's a helicopter up ahead. We're, it's unclear what this is about, but again, we are at St. Francis Medical Center in Littlewood. I'll step out of the way so you can see the emergency room entrance. That's where uh, a lot of deputies have been tonight and investigators, and this is where a press conference happened about an hour ago. Sheriff Villanueva giving us a little bit more information on the deputies that were shot uh, like Jeff said, it was two deputies that were shot, a man and a woman. Both are alive tonight. We're told they are out of surgery. Uh, the, one of them is a 31-year-old mother of a 6-year-old boy. We're told her husband is here. The other is a 24-year-old, and his parents and his girlfriend are here, both new to the department. Uh, the sheriff says the injured deputies themselves, themselves called in the incident. They were transported by other deputies to the hospital. We were able to get a little bit more information on the suspect as well, and you can run that video uh, that we've all been seeing tonight. Uh, Sheriff says the suspect walked alongside the patrol vehicle, acted as if he was going to pass it, but instead shot the deputies and fled on foot. We did ask the sheriff whether that suspect said anything to the deputies before he shot them. He says that's not something he's able to share with us at the time. But right now on the scene is a lot of homicide detectives, 14 in fact, and a high-tech task force canvassing the scene for more surveillance video. Uh, there was also some state assembly members here at the hospital. A couple of them spoke. One of them called the act cowardly, and the sheriff didn't hold back about his anger about this incident. He gives us a little more details on the two deputies that were shot. One is a 31-year-old mother of a, of a six-year-old boy. Her uh, husband is here with them. The other one is a 24-year-old. And uh, parents are here. Girlfriend is here. They're both out of class 437, so they just graduated. And in fact, I swore them into office just 14 months ago. These are real people doing a tough job, and uh, it just shows uh, just the dangers of this job in the blink of an eye. 
Now, if you didn't catch that, he said both the deputies are new to the department. They were sworn in about 14 months ago. So it was two essentially rookie deputies that were together at the metro station uh, earlier this evening. Again, both of them are alive and out of surgery and are expected to make a full recovery. As they recover, the manhunt continues, and uh, there seems to be a little bit of uh, uh, some commotion here at the hospital. So we hope to get some more details on what that is about. For now, live in Linwood, Hermel Aragawi, CBS 2 News. Wow. And so there you see it, you know. And, you know, only thing that I have to say, my comment on this, my input, is how, how long do you think you're going to be able to murder people in the streets? And the sheriff department isn't saying that that's a cowardly act when you shoot unarmed people in the street. You're not mad about that. When you when your deputies kill unarmed innocent victims, but you're mad when someone shoot at your deputies and try to kill them. Now, me personally, I don't condone violence. One of the Ten Commandments is thou should not kill. So I feel no one has a right to take anyone's life. But the point I'm making is you can't go around killing people and don't think that someone's going to try to kill you. The Bible says you reap what you sow. So. With that being said, don't forget to drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to also click on that notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the next episode, family. Shalom.